in this tip, talking about long putts, okay? So, <laughs> long putts can be difficult for people, and that is because people do not practice long putts. So, if you followed my technique for any period of time, you would know that I want you to practice only long putts and short putts. Long ones, short ones, that's it. Don't sit there at 12 feet, okay? That is a complete waste of your time. You need to practice long putts so that you stop three putting. Okay, so from here down to there, that one over to this one, this one over to this one, and so on. You know, you would probably go 30 feet or more, okay? And only practice those or short ones right around the hole. Three footer, four footer, five footer, three to four feet, four to five feet, five to six feet. Put those ones, okay, under pressure. Short putts, long putts, that's it, okay? So when I was, uh, you know, Practicing golf a lot of the time, you know, after I got practicing long putts and short putts, that's all I ever did. I got real good at long putts, and it's really just an experience thing. So what do I think about, or how do I putt long putts? Well, because I, I did it for so long, I, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain if you've never been there, but I really try to let my mind go completely blank. I know, that seems like, what, blank? I don't get it. Well, I try to let my mind calculate out the distance. So I have not hit this putt yet. <laughs> I rarely practice putting. I'm gonna hit these three balls to this hole right here, way down here. That's gotta be 10, that's at least 50 feet. Okay, let's see how close I can get them and kind of what I do. So I go like this, okay? I get ready. Now, as I do my practice, I look at the hole. So I'm looking at the hole, and I on long putts, I do three practice strokes. And all I'm thinking, or all I'm trying to do is get the feel as my eyes see the target, okay? And then as I set up, I'm not thinking how hard I gotta hit it. I just try to let my mind go blank. And I just try to let my body figure out how far that is. So I'm not sitting there going, oh, I gotta take it back this far and hit it this hard. No, I'm not thinking like that. I get that sense in my mind. Oh, it's about that much. I'm looking at the target, letting myself calculate out how far this putt is, okay? So here we go, let's see how close I can get it. Okay, just completely going blank. So we're a little on the amateur side there, but that's about three feet right there. Let me give it a little hair more break. I gotta just let my mind go blank. There we go, it's looking pretty good. Okay. Okay, not too bad for rarely ever practicing putting anymore. I just don't have time to do that. You know, I might hit a few little putts if I'm gonna go play, but other than that, I don't sit here and practice. This was just years and years and years of practicing short putts, long putts. That was it. Just really stick to the long putts. Just think in your mind, you know, just the last round you played. Okay, did you have some long putts? Probably did, right? Did you three putt? Yeah, you probably did. So imagine if you could practice the long ones, practice the short ones, well, if you can hit three balls within three feet from like right here, which I just did, and I don't even practice, well, you're gonna reduce the three putts. So, you know, now you're gonna save yourself one to five shots around. So now your scores start to come down. You know what happens when your scores come down? You get confidence, okay? As you get more and more confident, now you can take your game to a whole new level. Okay, I know it takes effort to walk from here over to there. I know that. Most people are lazy and they won't do it, okay? But if you wanna shave off those strokes from your game, then you gotta put in the effort. 
and this is an easy way to drop one to five shots of your game, okay? So just remember that, and then if you want to do it the way I do it, you know, you'll see. Look at the hole as you do the strokes, okay? So you're not sitting here going, oh, I gotta take it back like this. No, look at the hole. Just think, okay, it's about that much. And step up, you know, try to not overthink it. Your brain can calculate that out in like a millisecond. So let your mind do the work. And then you're going to get the ball right around the hole most of the time. Shaving off those strokes and playing better golf. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's going to help you improve your swing. Now right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm going to send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.